people in a region with their pets and food and getting the ambulance to where people need it. My favorite part about doing this is probably either the pre presenting our projects or doing the robot on the board. It's, I have a lot of fun. Team 4190, the light switches, we have the core values, which is we are a team, it's how we work together, how we include everybody. My favorite part is the robot game, which is you, build, you have to build a little Lego robot, then have a complete task on the board. I am the only one on the team who has done it before, as my third year. The volcanic ash cleaner. It is meant for volcanoes in the volcano zone to clean up so people don't get sick from all of the ash. And it went on, went on treads, can store the ash. Basically, our robot is kind of a simple, it looks simple, but really it's a bit complex in the way that if you move it up, then the entire thing will not work. You need to keep it yeah. like this. And also, and also, this part, you have to make sure that it's always um, stuck right up against it, right up against right here, because if it's not, it falls off. This is our invention, the power line protector. It um, notifies um, the electric company, which is uh, Con Edison for us, that um, if there's anything on the wire, we represented the signal as a light for the weight. But um, it only if it exceeds the weight limit, but if it doesn't, then it'll time how long it is. Say a bird flies on it, if it stays on there for more than 12 hours, which a branch would and a bird wouldn't, then um, it would send a signal allow, um, notifying them. And it's really just fun to be around everybody doing projects. Mr. Paterno sometimes comes in and Mr. Gaudulo is our coach. And then we also have two engineers from Phillips who come in most of the time to help us with our robot and they sponsor our team. Pine Island, New York, all the floodland, I mean all the farmland would flood. So some tubes go into the river. So every year when there's a hurricane, it would suck up the water, like some of it, so it wouldn't flood and flood the fields. So it gets sucked up into here. During the summer, during like if there's a drought, it would go under the fields into the sprinklers. So you're not wasting water. On the count of three, alright guys, on three, two. And I'm hoping just to be able to see how much our work has paid off and that will help me next year to be able to know that all the stuff that we're doing, once you get it and it goes well, it really feels, it's the best feeling in the world.